Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a full face of Kier Weiss makeup. This is uh, an organic makeup line started by Kirsten Kier Weiss. She is a Danish born makeup artist and this makeup line is organic certified. So I'm really excited to try out more products. I purchased one of her lip tints back in January when I was in New York City and it was just freezing cold and I needed as much lip care as possible. So I purchased one of her lip tints. It worked wonders in the polar vortex that New York was experiencing experiencing at that time. So since then, I've been really intrigued to try the rest of her line, and I decided to take advantage of a sale Neiman Marcus was having. I also thought the timing was really good because she has a lot of cream products in her line, and I happen to like cream products in the warmer months. And we'll be doing a full day wear test with all this stuff. I just wanna see how it wears throughout the day. So let me go ahead and show you what I have and what we'll be using today. So I went ahead and purchased her collector's kit, which is basically like an empty palette. So that is, this guy right here. So you have to buy, obviously you have to buy all the makeup that goes in here. So the collector's kit is just this palette. This metal chrome thing can actually come out. It's like magnetized in here. So you can use this box on its own, it has a nice mirror. Um, you can pull this out and it's important because it has the pinholes in the back if ever you want to replace your products. I think all of the Cure Weiss products are refillable, which is really awesome. It really is um, in line with her organic uh, makeup line. So that's really great. And everything is really, really weighty. This is the lip tint that I got in January that I'm holding up. It's very, very weighty. So this is refillable. There is a pinhole in the back there and you can just pop it out easily. And then all the refills come in these paper packages. So very in line with her organic makeup brand. My only issue with this packaging is if you purchase this from maybe a place that doesn't take uh, returns or exchanges with opened products, you kind of have to open this product to see the color because this is not see-through. And then once you've opened it, if you don't like the color, you may not be able to return or exchange it. So that was one issue that I had with this um, packaging, but I do like the effort that was put into making sure that this was all recyclable material. So let me show you the products that we'll be using today. I went ahead and purchased the collector's kit, which is basically like an empty palette and it has this um, heavy like chrome piece in here which you can take out and pop out all of the products that you may have put in there so this gives this whole palette like a nice weight to it which is really lovely and then you have room for like two cream products foundation um, a lip tint and two eyeshadows. So all of these are cream products and then I got two powder eyeshadows. I just kind of watched it change it up a little bit. So I got two powder eyeshadows and then foundation, bronzer, highlight, lip tint. I thought maybe I could use this lip tint as blush. Not exactly sure, but we're gonna give that a shot today. Um, I have that lip tint that I purchased in January. And then I also purchased a lip gloss. So we can go ahead and play with this. This is incredibly heavy. So this is the um, refillable part. So you can just take the cap off and then buy the uh, refill for the lip gloss. And it attaches magnetically. So it's really neat. It is very, very top heavy though. And then as a free gift, I actually got a black eyeliner and then this uh, eye definition brush. So we can play around with that. And this is what the eyeliner looks like. So again, we have this cap that you can keep and then you can buy just the pencil again. So as usual, I'll have everything that I just mentioned listed down below in my description box if you want a little bit more info, but let's go ahead and start. So I was watching uh, a video of hers on Beautylish and she likes to start by uh, prepping the skin with her beautiful oil. I did not purchase her beautiful oil, but I thought I'd go ahead and use my Rodin Luxury Face Oil. So I've already put a little bit of moisturizer down, but I have incredibly dry skin, so I don't think a little bit of extra oil will hurt. So I'm just gonna use maybe three drops. And then I'm just going to pat that in. And she says to let it sink into your skin for about three to four minutes. So we will go ahead and do that. I just wanna share with you the foundation color that I got. So I purchased Silken and you know, I had to kind of go off of the pictures on the website. I did a little bit of you know research. I looked up swatches or whatever. I hope this color 
works for me. I think it should. I swatched it already, which is why it looks <laughs> a little bit used. All right, so about three minutes have gone by. I think we're ready to apply the foundation. So again, I was watching a video of hers on Beautylish and she recommends just applying the foundation with your fingers. Um, and then I saw her use kind of like a flat paddle brush like this to kind of blend it in. So I will start that way, even though I'm not the biggest fan of using my fingers to apply makeup, but I'm gonna go with it. So, so I'm just gonna run my finger in here and just start at my cheeks here I think that's a decent color match maybe it's a little dark for me we'll have to see so I'm just gonna apply it to half of my face so we can just kind of take a look at the difference there check out the coverage the texture of this is a little bit drier than what I was expecting. It kind of feels like powdery right off the bat, but it is spreading nicely. It's not like it's too dry to spread or anything, so that's good. I am gonna take this brush and dip into the foundation and just make sure I'm getting it into the crevices here around my nose and also right underneath my eyes. I did not get a concealer from her, so I'm just gonna be using this foundation as both. I was hoping that it has enough coverage, and I think it does. Yeah, when I look at the difference between these two eyes, I think the foundation has enough coverage for me at least to forego concealer. So I am glad I put that oil down because this uh, cream foundation, even though it's cream, I was expecting it to be a little bit more, um, you know, radiant and emollient, but it actually is on the drier side. It has a very natural kind of finish. Any of that glow that you see, that is the oil kind of peeking through. But when I feel my skin, I can kind of feel like the powdery finish of the foundation. So there's the side with the foundation. Here's the side without. So there's you know, a decent amount of coverage. I wouldn't say it's full by any means. It's probably a light medium. Definitely seems buildable when I was kind of patching up areas that needed a little bit more help. It really seemed to build up uh, pretty nicely, like the redness around my nose. There's definitely a big difference there. And it looks very nice on the skin. It definitely looks very, very natural, very, very skin-like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of my face and then we can move on to some of these other cream products. All right, well. I am still not a fan of applying makeup with my fingers. I'm hoping one of these days I'll get used to it, but I just ugh, I just don't like it. So next let's go ahead and try the bronzer. I got the color Lustrous. I think there was two options, if I'm not mistaken, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 110 uh, face brush, face shape brush, and I'm gonna dip it into the pan, pick up some product, and this bronzer definitely has a sheen. I think you guys can probably see that. There's like a nice kind of frosty sheen there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it to the hollows of my cheeks. That's a pretty tone. Again, very, very natural, which is great for um, the summertime, I think. Great for the summertime. And let's see if I can build this up a little bit more. I do like the tone of this bronzer. It's a little bit on the warm side, so I do think it works great kind of all over the face for a bronze effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add it to my forehead here. Oh, I'm seeing a bit of like red undertone peek through. That is really, really nice. I love a red undertone to a bronzer. It really just makes you look sunburnt, sun-kissed, I should say. <laughs> I think on my nose, you could probably see the red undertone the best there. All right, there is the bronzer applied. I think it looks nice. I think I did a crappy job blending over here. Hang on, I just use my fingers. I like that once I started to blend it in, the red tone really started to come through. I think this actually makes a great kind of like bronzer blush area. I don't feel like I necessarily need to blush now. You know, you can really see that like peachy readiness over here. It's really pretty really natural like sun-kissed kind of look. All right, next up I have uh, a cream highlight here. I believe this color is Ravishing, and I think there are two options for highlighter as well. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna try and be low maintenance here. I'm gonna use my fingers. Out of all the cream products so far, this one feels the most emollient. 
Oh, that is a beautiful natural glow. It has a slight golden shift, nothing too crazy. A really nice match for my skin tone. All right, so there is the highlight. Oh, I really love it. I love the sheen that it gives. It's like that kind of like sweaty, you've been sitting in the sun all day, kind of like just makes your skin look really warm, if that makes sense. Okay, I am sitting here debating whether or not I want to powder. I think I'm gonna powder around the tip of my nose. So I did not purchase any powder from her, so I'm just gonna use my Kogendo uh, Natural Lighting Powder. I didn't use concealer around my eyes, but there's a lot of movement there. Okay, I'm gonna use just a little bit underneath my eyes here. And that's it, because I do want to leave it pretty radiant. I also want to see how this cream foundation wears all day. Um, so I'll stop there. So I just powder the tip of my nose and just a little bit around my eyes. I also don't have any eyebrow stuff from her. I'm not sure if she has any actually, but you know, I love my Tom Ford fiber brow gel. So I'm going to go in with this just to tame my brows a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and play with her eyeshadows. I got these two powder eyeshadows. Um, she has a whole range of cream eyeshadows, but I... I don't know, I just decided to switch it up a little bit from all these other cream products. I can't find like the little um, refill package that those came in, so I don't know the color names off the top of my head. But again, I'll list it down below in the description box. Um, but I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Blender Pro brush and go into this lighter shade, and I'm gonna sweep this all over my lid. All right, well that blended out beautifully. I like the pigmentation. It's very true to the color in the pan. No surprises there. It has like just the slightest bit of a satin finish. Nothing too crazy. Maybe it's more of a, a demi matte, almost satin kind of finish, but really pretty and nice all over the lid shade. So next I'm gonna go into that darker color and I think I'm gonna try the free gift brush that they gave me. This is the definition brush and it's like a stiff uh, kind of domed brush. It's a little bit pointy actually at the top there, but it is very, very stiff. And I'm fairly certain this is synthetic. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this darker brown shade. And I'm gonna run this along my lash line and work it into my lash line and maybe bring it up a little bit on the outer corner here. And I'm just gonna take that Blender Pro brush and just run it across the top edge there. You know, these shadows are reminding me of the Shantakai shadows. They have really lovely pigmentation. They're not overly pigmented. They have kind of this nice like watercolor effect. And I don't mean, I don't know, I don't want that to mean that like they're thin. That's not what I'm saying. They just have this really, I don't know, kind of like beautiful, like the edges are already kind of like blown out kind of feel to them. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, they remind me of the Shantakai eyeshadows. All right, there are the two eyeshadows applied. I feel like I need some along my lower lash line, don't I? Okay, let me add some of this darker brown. I'll use this definition brush again um, to my lower lash line. All right, so there is the eyeshadow applied. I really like it. It blended out really nicely. I think the colors are really beautiful. I think they're pigmented nicely, not overly, not under. As a free gift, they also gave me that black eyeliner, but I feel like with this look, I need something a little bit softer than black. Uh, but let me, let me see if this is soft black. So this is what the eyeliner looks like. Well, let's give it a shot. If I'm just gonna put it kind of like along my lash line, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So I'll go ahead and use this um, eyeliner. I am curious to see how this wears too. So I'm going to tight line with it and also get up into my lash line. I'm gonna take this uh, definition brush and actually use it as a smudger brush and smudge out that lip liner. Lip liner, eyeliner, whoa. All right, well, that eyeliner gave me a little bit more of a smokier eye than I was anticipating, but I think that looks nice. So we'll see how that wears during the day. I am very curious to see if it's gonna like smudge and move or whatever. So I'm gonna skip mascara because, I don't know, just lately it's been bothering my eyes. It's been, I don't know, it's been making my eyes really itchy. Anyway, I'm foregoing mascara. So let's move on to lips. So I have this lip gloss and I have this new lip tint, which is down here, this deep color. 
and I don't know, this deep color just really, really called to me. I don't know if the packaging inspired me, probably. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, put this lip gloss on just so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I think I'll take that off and then put the lip tint on. So this lip gloss that I got is in color Tenderness. It has a nice, pleasant fragrance. It's a little bit sweet, basically. There is the lip gloss. I'm trying to figure out the texture. It's not sticky. I feel like it has a slightly like oily base, but once that kind of sets down, the lip gloss starts to feel a little bit thicker, not in a bad way, just like thicker, like it's gonna like sit on your lips nicely. And you know what I find interesting for a lip gloss? It's not very glossy at all. It actually has a pretty soft, uh, natural kind of finish. It's kind of nice. I really like the texture. You know, the texture is less glossy and more like, like if they were to liquefy a sheer lipstick. I feel like that's what this feels like. Ooh, I really like that though. I really like the way it feels. I think I'm definitely gonna have to try some other colors. This is really, this feels really, really great. And my lips feel moisturized. Okay, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take that off uh, so that we can try the uh, lip tint. So the lip tint, like I mentioned, the first and only product I had was this lip tint in Captivate, and this is what I got um, back in January in New York City. And I noticed that um, when I used it, it seemed to have like little bumps in there. And I was a little bit concerned with that. I didn't know if maybe the product was old, um, but I did a little bit of research and I actually asked around and uh, organic and like natural beauty brands, they will sometimes use unrefined oil in their products. It's a little bit more pure, uh, less processed, uh, but when they use unrefined oils, when there's a temperature change, what happens is that oil will just, you know, kind of start to harden up a little bit. And so, those are, I don't know if you guys can even see it. So those are the little bumps in there. And so I just wanted to mention that in case you guys, you know, end up trying the lip tint or if you have it and you've been wondering what those are, that's basically just unrefined, unprocessed oil, which is actually great, but it does leave bumps. And I can actually see some bumps in this lip tint, which I haven't even touched yet. So anyway, that's all it is. Nothing bad, nothing harmful. It's just kind of like what naturally happens with unrefined oil. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this lip tint color on and I am just gonna use my finger and dab this on. So there is Lover's Choice on the lips. You can see how uh, sheer it is. It looks much darker in the pan and it comes out really nice and sheer on the lips. Really easy to use. This is very, very moisturizing. The lip tint I find to be like a tinted balm. It just, it feels great on the lips. It's very, very nourishing. And the colors are fairly sheer. So I'm actually gonna dab some on my cheeks. I feel like after I put this on, my entire face looks a little bit washed out now since it's so bright. So I'm just gonna tap some right there. All right, I am happy with this look. So I am gonna do, let's actually do a quick check before I sign off and come back on a little bit later since we'll be doing a full day wear test. But so far the foundation is sitting nicely. It's been about an hour. I started at about 8.15. It's, yeah, it's about 9.20 now. So it's been about an hour. Everything looks like it's sitting nicely. So I'm going to sign off. I will continue on with my day and then I'll be back midday to kind of do a midday check-in and then we'll do a full day wear test where I'll be back probably around five o'clock uh, this evening. So I will see you guys. Well, in YouTube time, I will see you in just a second. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a check-in. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon and I thought I would do this kind of vlog style. Um, I actually have a new toy that's like holding up my cameras and it's supposed to like follow my face around. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, I hope so. Anyway, uh, so it's been about, what is that for? About five hours that I've had this makeup on and the one thing that I noticed first is that the eyeliner is smudging. Uh, which is not the best thing, but I also didn't powder at that much. If you guys remember, um, I powdered very, very lightly around my eyes. And generally, if I don't powder enough, like under my eyes, I'll get a lot of transfer with like eyeliner, mascara, etc. So that could be my fault. But then again, if you're not someone that powders a lot, uh, this eyeliner is going to smudge. At least that's my experience. I wonder if you guys can see that. It was actually a little bit worse. I kind of just out of habit, I saw it and I just kind of brushed it away. And then I thought, oh, I should have left it there for you guys, but there was definitely a lot more smudging. And actually just under this eye, this eye was okay. 
Uh, it's just under this eye. So um, other than that, I feel like the foundation actually looks pretty good. I do feel like, let me just hold this out a little bit. I feel like it's fading around my nose a bit. Um, I think you can probably see like a little bit of the redness peeking through. So it is fading a bit, but at least it's fading evenly, uh, which is a good thing. This lip tint actually kind of made it through a meal. So I think the lip tint is actually surprisingly a little bit long wear longer wearing than I thought. And it actually has stayed on my cheeks nicely. I think the um, bronze and the highlight looks nice as well. So, so far so good. You guys let me know what you think. So that's it for this check-in. I think it actually looks pretty good. The eyeshadow has held up. Sorry, I didn't mention the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow has held up. I think that looks really nice. And that's it. So yeah, I will be back at the end of the day to kind of give you um, a final look at this makeup and give you my final thoughts. I will see you then. Hey guys, so it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. So I've had this makeup on for almost nine hours now. And so I just wanted to give you my final check-in, final thoughts, give you my uh, final review of the products after wearing them all day long. So the foundation I think is very good. I think it has stayed on really nicely. At my first check-in, I could see a little bit of fading around the tip of my nose, but I don't believe it has gotten any worse. I think that you can see a little bit of the redness like around my nostrils a little bit, but I don't feel like I see more of it kind of uh, disappeared off the tip of my nose or anything. I see a little bit of fading around my hairline here. Nothing major, just a little bit. In fact, why don't I do a close-up of my forehead right now so you guys can take a look at that. So I think it looks pretty good. And so on the rest of my skin, it looks nice. I don't see it breaking up anywhere. I don't see it caking up anywhere. When I see caking up, it's usually around my mouth. I don't see any of that. It feels very comfortable on the skin. So the only difference I think I see in the foundation is that it's just a little bit more glowy. So I do think that the natural oils in my skin have come out a little bit. So when I first applied this foundation, it had a much more kind of like powdery, velvety, like natural finish. It really didn't have any radiance um, or any dewiness to the skin at all. And now I feel like I see a little bit of my oils kind of shining through. I happen to like that. I like that it's kind of warming up a little bit, that it looks a little bit more natural now. Not that it didn't look natural before, but I have dry skin and I just happen to like a little bit more radiance with my foundation. So I see a little bit more of that now, but I see that the coverage is still there. I really don't see any like breaking down of it. So I'm very impressed with the foundation. So I'm actually very surprised with the lip tint. I feel like it's stained my lips a little bit, which is really nice. It looks like I still have a little bit of lip color on. I feel like it stayed on my cheeks um, as a cream blush. I think I see it fade a little bit, but there is still definitely some blush there. The bronzer, which was uh, very natural to begin with, and the highlight is still there. Everything has stayed put really nicely, except for the eye eyeliner. The eyeliner you can see, I mentioned it during the first check-in, there were some major smudges underneath my uh, right eye, but you can see that I'm getting kind of like the raccoon eyes a little bit here. So that definitely has not stayed put. And then the powder eyeshadow is still there looking really good. So overall, I am really impressed with this makeup. In the past, I have to say, I, I really just haven't had that great of an experience with organic makeup. Um, either with the longevity, I feel like sometimes it'll just break down too easily or uh, just with the application sometimes I feel like the texture isn't quite right but so far with this one full day wear test I am having really good luck much better luck with this line than other organic lines that I have tried so big thumbs up for me and I'm definitely going to be playing around with this lip gloss a little bit more I really liked this texture it was very very different than what I would normally consider a lip gloss so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. Let me know what you think of the makeup. You guys sometimes uh, see something or observe something that sometimes I miss. So I love to hear from you guys. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.